There's a way to have multiple heat maps on your screen uh, using Quantile. So um, just go to the market heat map, which is in the miscellaneous, and um, we want to do indices. So let's go to this. You can just click that and then click that. And we want to do it by change, and that's fine. So we lock the indices up. It's quite a good idea to look at your risk appetite um, if you're trading FX because obviously this is going to impact your yen, this is going to impact uh, dollar and anything really. Um, as long as it's uh, risk sensitive, this is going to be worth noting. And so we are very much risk on in um, Japan, China, Australia. The US tech's doing well because of Google, right? We had a big beat on the Google earnings. So that's a good idea to have indices. But another thing that you can do is if you're looking for a particular pair, maybe you're looking at a cable, you can look at your dollar pairs to get an idea about the dollar. You know, if we're strong on the day, so fairly strong, right? And then we look at maybe pound, because we're, we're trading cable, like theoretically, okay? I'm not sure what you're trading. Um, you could be taking the signals from the bubbles. It's up to you. Um, so come here. And then we've got the pound crosses. So then we get a general idea about pound. All right, so uh, quite a bit of green, but there's also quite a bit of green on dollar. All right, maybe you could argue it's quite a lot of red as well. Uh, so the SEC is so interesting because SEC's in the um, dollar index. All right, it's actually it's performing stronger versus the dollar so that could be a good indicator for pound usd you know you can use it for multiple scenarios another thing you can do is have the heat map up and look at crypto because you know that crypto is uh, risk uh, risk sensitive um, it, it kind of follows uh, risk appetite uh, so there we go so we are a little bit potentially risk off because of these three ideally you'd want them all to be green you know just an idea and uh Maybe it helps. And you don't have to do sales, you can do tree map if you prefer tree map. I don't know if it's too much information there. Um, oops. And then, you know, you can maybe use this bit down here for your chart. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, let me just slot that down there. And I was looking at pound, Euro Pound yesterday. So I think we should be breaking out, but we've got the BOE tomorrow. Oops. And then that's it. So, you know, then you just change your pair to what you want to be trading. And, you know, you've got an eagle eye view of what's going on. Maybe you'd want to do um, get rid of dollar because you're trading euro pound. So you click clear it all. And then you go to euro. And we're going to select all the euro pairs. Um, yeah, so that's that. So hopefully it helps. Uh, just a, another use case scenario for the uh, Quantile. And this is just the market heat map. You've got a load of different features as well.